I thought I'd just show you the state of printing I'm at. This is the um, Inmove legs, as you can see. So I've got to actually assemble these because I've run out of space in my uh, on my workbench to actually do any other work. So I'm gonna. Um, I've been meaning to get around to actually gluing these together for uh, uh, a couple of months now because these have just been sitting here. But uh, I'm just uh, going to now assemble the right leg, which I printed, as I say, a month or two ago, pretty much fairly soon after a girl had published the design. I had most of the right leg done. Um, I haven't really done much printing in the last uh, week or so, but I am printing at the moment, which I'll just show you that on the, um, on the printer there is uh, one of the last parts I need for the left leg. I think it's the upper thigh or something like that. Uh, but I've done, as, as you look here, I've done most of the right, I've done all the right leg uh, section. Uh, and um, uh, there's a head sitting there, which is I'm doing for another little project. So I'm gonna try and assemble the right leg, just to park from anything else to create some space on my bench. So um, let's move forward. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the right leg. This is the upper section. So that's thigh, high right. That's uh, thigh mid. So yeah, thigh mid right, and this section will slot in. Slot in there. It does fit. I'm just going to sand it down just a touch more, so it's not quite such a tight fit. Um, but uh, they, the quality of these fits really well. I've had to um, slightly sand off the, uh, file down the inner in a bit there because that, that section was just hitting the inner lip there. But um, with a bit of sanding, it, it fits. With a, I might take a little bit more off just to, to remove that last gap there. You can see just so it'd be less filling. But um, it's, it's perfect on the other side. They're very nice pieces. They're very large pieces. I mean, this took uh, 30 something hours, this, uh, this, this section. <laughs> 32 hours, I think, to print. Um, and I think that was 28 hours or something. These are the longest prints I've had to do on the, uh, on the InMove. Uh, but they do fit really nicely. And as I say, that will fit in there, or does fit in there. I'm just gonna sand it down a little bit more and then glue it together. So that'll be the upper section, upper thigh, uh, right hand side glued. And now you can see that's the, uh, it's that way up. That's the upper thigh. I will do a bit more sanding on there just to bring that in a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to paint that as well, that inner side, so that will get filled. Um, so I think that will be quite a seamless. But the joints on the back are pretty good, so... In here, you have to scrape out, there's uh, quite a bit of support that goes on inside. Um, I'll show you on the other one. This is the left hand uh, upper section. So you can see there's quite a bit of support. Well, I've got a support on it anyway. Um, on that upper, on that angle up there. It's probably more than 45 degrees, so it probably wasn't necessary, but I did, I did do support anyway. Because this is such a big piece, and it was, as I say, it takes such a long time to actually print. I didn't want anything going wrong with it. Um, you can see... section within that lip there. Um, it does actually scrape out really well if you just use the end of a screwdriver you can actually get that to clean, it, to clean up really nicely. It's just shooting bits of plastic everywhere as you can see. Um, that was the, that's the, the bit that was stuck on the on the uh, on the print bed so that just needs filing off. But um, they are really nice 
very chunky, very solid uh, sections of plastic, those. So that is the upper, it's that way around. There's this piece then, sits on the top there, and this is called the, um, I don't know what they call that actually, it is called thigh high temp, temporary right. So, let me get that into camera. Let me just pan the camera back a bit. So as I say, that's the, the thigh high temporary, that's the linkage that will go onto the Inmove uh, inner leg, which I will show you now actually. So let's just pan around to look at the Inmove. Okay, so this is the lower, uh, this is the right hand side. I'm looking at from the back. Let me just pan out, you can see the back of the robot there. So this is the, um, the original section. So as you can see, the whole leg section would go in, in like that. If I just pan down, you can see the, the full leg. Uh, I'm a bit cramped in this room at the moment and uh, the robot's getting very cramped as well. But it does fit. Um, obviously I've got to make it uh, change the stand completely um, and um, get that to slot into there. But I think, uh, which will be my next thing actually, and then this, this will just, all this section, I'm gonna to glue together finally, as I just mentioned, uh, and, and it'll, I will have uh, the upper legs part of the robot. And uh, I'm printing at the moment the, the, uh, the other legs, so uh, I can at least get the top legs on. Um, I've got to completely redo this whole base. Um, somehow i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do with that it is going on onto a chair which i've got uh so i suppose this section will just be a single pole uh fairly like a few other people have done with the legs uh for this so i'm just going to sort of uh, see uh, see how the other people have approached the problem and uh, probably copy it uh right so that's that's that for the minute now as you can see i managed to get that to fit on that's uh wasn't too difficult actually um, I do have these extra bolts sticking out the side because I reinforced the whole of this base. Um, I put metal brackets in there just to give it some structure. Um, but I don't think that's actually going to make actually much difference. Because it's not going to be, um, it's not going to be uh, mechanically driven or anything. So it's just going to uh, sit there. So that is the base. Um, but unfortunately it's not going to fit <laughs> with my bracket here, but that would then just sit on the base there. So um, I'm going to have to completely redo the uh, the section, but it does, does sort of work. So I don't think I'll glue this section on to the base, uh, to the upper thigh just for the time being. I think I'll leave these these separate, uh, these, these sections, so then I can um, sit the leg on the bench and work on it. Otherwise, um, or maybe I'll glue it on. Okay, well, we'll see how we go. Right, so I've now glued the lower legs together, or this, sorry, this is the, uh, this is the lower section of the leg and the um, the ankle section will go on there just to make sure you see that yeah you can um, and then that will go so the whole section goes together like that Just want to make sure you can see that. So the whole section will just bolt together like that. So that's that's the swivel action on the uh, on the ankle. So that can it's got quite a few quite a bit of movement on there, and that will bolt on there. This section. 
just slots on the very top there. If you haven't seen the inside of this section, it's got uh, the gearing which uh, I'm going to modify, well, I'm going to use because I'm going to actually put the, uh, a gear head on there to actually get this to turn. Because this is, um, although I'm going to have one of these for, my, for the legs, I'm actually going to use this for the uh, skull for my uh, other robot that I'm building at the moment as well. That section, as I say, I've just super glued that together and my fingers almost. I'm um, just letting that go off. It doesn't quite fit there, it's not a perfect join in there, so I'm gonna have to sand that down and fill that little bit of section because of uh, this part didn't want to quite sit in there, right? But uh, this, this fits, that fits down there, that's a good join down there. So, generally speaking, that's, that's uh, that worked out quite well. <laughs> 